we have a great surgeons in India, one of the best in terms of many ways. And how do we leverage them in terms of using these technologies and be able to um, master the techniques as well as the building the new techniques? There's many parts of the world where you could not do a lot of things, but in India we could do and experiment a lot of the, the new techniques. And we feel eventually India will be the innovation center for the robotic surgery. And we also building, in India, we set up a team now to capture the state of the art, these uh, techniques, different techniques, in a video library so people can from any place can view these techniques and try to learn them. We also now in the, um, will be in, uh, inaugurating sometime by end of this month, uh, for the first week of February, a brand new training institute in Chennai, which will provide the, which has the wet lab and dry lab, will provide the training right here in India so that they don't, you don't have to travel to U.S. or Europe. So there's a lot of ways which the foundation has made the commitment and making sure these next three to four years, this technology is widespread and ability to also reach to the common person in India. So we're very excited. I think Raj, along with Padma Vatikuti, created an history in robotics in India. I think it will take a very well shape for Indian patients and as well as the surgeons of Indian origin, especially the elder surgeons, will get a lot of benefit. Once again, thank you very much. We have waited almost for 10 years, between 2001 and 2010, 11, during which period we developed only six or eight centers, and that at a very low level of competence. I think what Dr. Mahendra Bandari and the Vatikuti Foundation are doing is bringing us to a very high level and I think uh, the time is the most important. In last one year work which Mahendra has done in this country is unique and I think from the model that he has created this is going to work out beautifully and I think many centers will be open in the next five years. I wish you all the best Mahendra and Raj. Raj is of course uh, most courageous and most innovative person. The person who saw the importance of uh, robotic surgery when he promoted Dr. Money at the Henry Ford system of uh, medical schools. So I think your vision and his expertise both put together is going to give a great push to robotic surgery in our country. Thank you. Of course, Mani Menon is, uh, the, you can't say enough about what he's contributed to the development and the teaching of, of robotics. But I can say that we can see very clearly it will multiply very rapidly in India because the patients are actually benefiting. And the more we make it happen, the more we'll be able to bring down the cost by the cost of the robot and also the instruments. But also Raj, I mean, I hope nobody from Intuitive is here, but maybe one day, with our technological and IT capabilities in India, we can actually create our own Desi robot in the, in the near future. The challenge here uh, in India especially because the patient has to bear the cost of the surgery. And then the question is how do you convince the patient to share more money because we can do the same thing laparoscopically, how do we convince the patient? So cost is a big one all over the world and there's ways you know, people think of how to reduce cost. Uh, reducing OR time is the key one. So that would mean uh, more practice for the surgeons, repetitive cases, all cases lined up, OR efficiency. Especially in India market, we analyze in a very great detail, working with not only partners and others, and looking at the cost elements and uh, what the market can bear. So we have to get to three to 400 procedures a year very quickly. That doesn't require a whole lot of surgeons to make commitment. So we need at least a good six surgeons make the commitment, combination of urology, gynecology, general surgery, and other areas. So we can easily build that 400 procedures. You don't have to do, compete with every procedure in the laparoscopic or open. You can pick the procedures which robot can really make the difference. As we build more volumes in India, they're also willing to look at the manufacturing instruments in India so we can uh, bring the price down. The important thing is we need the commitment from you. You cannot be doing five procedures today, next month I do another five procedures, that will not work. You have to be 
consistent, determine what procedures, and you have to repeat yourself constantly and focus on this and to build the, build the volumes. So we're going to try in all angles to make sure how we can make to reach to the common person. We do look on the threshold of making an important injection of medical technology uh, into common, well hopefully what will become at least commoner practice and ultimately much broader uh, use in India. I want to join in the tribute that was paid to Raj and Padma Vatikuti. Uh, what they're doing is actually bringing uh, now to India uh, a technology that is very new uh, and it requires someone who has both the vision and the generosity uh, to make that possible. This is an example of not just making history, uh, but making history in a way that touches the lives of ordinary people. So thank you very much. In India, we have got a phobia for technology. We get scared about technology. The, every time, for the last six months, when we started with the help of Vatikuti Foundation, who brought the first robot to Mumbai, the common refrain is, is very complex technology, and second thing is very expensive. The entire medicine is getting less and less invasive. The cardiac surgery and entire surgical, everywhere, all specialties has to become less and less invasive. And that is where I think application of robotic technology is going to play a very big role. It's already there and we can't avoid it. And our next generation surgeons are more adapted in computer, are going to be far, far better surgeons, are going to get far better results. So it's going to stay here and that's where I think uh, Particularly Foundation has played a great role in bringing this technology, at least helping us jump-starting this, at least in this country, and it's going to stay there. So all of us have to get into that and uh, practice. And 10 years, I think, the, at least the surgical practice is going to change drastically to a large extent, uh, thanks to the application of robotic technology. And for this, I think I must thank uh, the Vatikuti Foundation, Dr. Bandari, for at least jump-starting the technology in the country. We have surgeries that are above the diaphragm, in the abdomen, in the pelvis, all across being done by robotic surgery and that is the beauty of this great instrument. And obviously we need someone to drive the instrument and that's uh, where India excels. We have a great team of very, very competent surgeons. We have found that in the last few months that we have had a robot at Manipal Hospital, we have done over 60 surgeries in the fields of urology, gynecology, surgical oncology and uh, many other fields like pediatric surgery and we hope that we'll go well above the diaphragm in the near future. Once again, a big thank you to Raj, Padma and uh, Dr. Mahendra Bandari for popularizing robotic surgery in India. Thank you and God bless. I envy the, uh, my Indian colleagues because the, we didn't have that seven years ago. You have this a foundation who can teach how it, it, it can be done. One last comment we experienced is that the center of excellence is in robotic surgery. You need the foundation, you need the company, you need a surgeon. The one single most thing we found out most important was the backing of the management, the hospital management. They really have to believe in it uh, among the competitions and all these problems coming out of multi-specialty models. So I think the, the strong back support by the hospital management was a very important uh, issue to be successful in a non-U.S. surgical model. Thank you. India is very diverse. One of the industries which really caters to poor to the rich is Bollywood. Entertainment, entertainment, and entertainment. So same thing we need to bring in healthcare. Not just for the rich but not just for the common. We gotta bring the health care to the poor people. So we all can work together, make that happen. Technology is not just for the rich people. Technology is for everybody. You can clearly see Bollywood has innovated themselves to bring that, the, the real innovation, to everybody in the country. Today, a poor man, he doesn't have money to eat, but he really enjoys watching a movie. Same thing in healthcare. We need to do that.